Well, it was quite a week. Um, I have to admit that I made uh, the wrong calls all week long. It, uh, it was unexpected. I, I mean, you know, I've been saying all along, uh, if you've been following the channel, that I've been overall bullish, but I didn't expect the bullishness to materialize yet. Um, I thought we would retest the lows um, near 42 or more, more than likely below 42. But as you can see, we closed the week out at 46.33. Um, we got as high as 46.36. Uh, I actually had a short order in to buy at uh, 46.5. Um, we didn't quite get there, but I would definitely not be surprised if we get there early um, this coming week. Um, I sold my long from 44.34 way too early, obviously. Um, because like I said, I never expected this bullishness to materialize this soon. Um, you know, if we look at the, uh, the seven day chart here, um, it's basically been green all the way through uh, the past seven trading days. If we look at the, the one month chart here, uh, you can see that we, we've had these ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs, and then starting on uh, June 21st, after that drop on news, we basically just kept going up and up and up, and Friday was the biggest up um, we've seen so far. Um, so it certainly took me by surprise. I think it took a lot of people by surprise. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, we took a nice profit. I think it was 1.3%. Um, if we go to my uh, tradingjournal.ca account here and flip over to the results, so on uh, the 28th of June, uh, we took 1.6% actually. So yeah, I mean, I'm definitely not complaining at all. Um, I'll take those sorts of returns any day of the week. Uh, but that being said, uh, you know, could have done a lot, lot better. Um, and to add to uh, to add insult to injury, I've been adding to my short positions um, as we've been going up, which is kind of part of my strategy. So it's not to say I've done anything outside of what my plan has been. Um, basically, building up a position, expecting um, the turnaround. Uh, of course, that turnaround didn't happen, but I do expect, and I'll get to that in a moment. But I do expect that to come. Uh, this coming week. So I did buy a uh, short twice. Um, we got in at uh, uh, 44.16 and we got in at uh, 40, uh, sorry, 44, uh, 44.42 we got in and then previous to that we got in at 42.16. So 42.16 and 44.42. And obviously now we're approaching 46 and a half. So um, that's gonna be my next uh, short target purchase price. Um, and uh, if we open there uh, this coming week, then that's going to be um, what I plan on doing, adding to the short positions there. Um, because of the long weekend, uh, this weekend, um, sun I'm recording this on Sunday, uh, it's Canada Day and it's July 4th in the US, so uh, no trading in Canada on uh, Monday, and it's a half trading day in the US on Monday, and then, I, and then US markets are closed completely on Tuesday. So uh, I should be able to get in on Tuesday, assuming that we hold to these levels, and Wednesdays, typically the news that we get for inventories on crude on Wednesdays will be shifted to Thursdays, um, which typically happens with a long weekend. Um, so that should give us a good buffer to, uh, you know, I'm sure that the bulls will try to keep it at these levels, so that'll give us the opportunity to get in. Um, maybe even closer to 47, who knows, maybe hey, maybe even closer to 48, we'll see. Um, but uh, whichever it is, uh, that's kind of what I'm planning on doing. Um, that being said, if I'm wrong and we don't get a turnaround anytime soon, I will plan on being patient with selling my long which is in at 46 and a half so I you know I'm going to be looking for a sale price on that long hopefully near the mid 47s maybe even 48 depending on if what the bulls do while the markets are closed uh, tomorrow and Tuesday 
Um, we'll see. Uh, I'm not going to be in a rush to sell, but of course, you know, anticipating the turnaround, I don't think we're going to 50, uh, you know, to, to say the least. Um, I don't want to be holding this 46 and a half long if we're going back to 42 or below. So that's kind of what my thinking is. Um, on Friday, we got the biggest bump of the past seven days, but it was really on low volume. You know, everybody was already done for the long weekend. Um, and uh, I have seen this sort of low volume rally before where it just kind of inches up. So if we take a look at the, the one day chart, um, okay, let's go to the seven day chart. You can see that the, you know, the way in which we went up, it was very um, kind of determined and, and slow, almost no retreat um, in sight. And I have seen that before um, on low volume where it just kind of keeps inching, 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 um, minute after minute, hour after hour. And I just, I don't know, uh, it could be me, it could be, I could be wrong, but I see this as turning around um, very soon. Um, you know, to be blunt, I see red next week. So if we look at the, um, the one week intervals, we can see that we've, this is the first green week that we've had. Um, but I think it was just a little bit of overkill. Um, unfortunately, I didn't really get to benefit as much as I could have from this rally. Um, but in the turnaround, which I think a lot of people don't expect, uh, I think we'll be in a great position to profit because I think a lot of people are looking at uh, let's take a look at the three months so if you look at the waves over the past three months a lot of people are looking at this and they're seeing you know they're expecting this this pattern to repeat and for us to come back up to you know 49 and 50 and I just don't see that happening so I think a lot of people are going to get um, burned when we start to turn around below 48. And then we're probably going to stick around this range between, uh, let's call it 47, 42, um, or maybe even just a little bit below 42 um, for a while. Uh, we've seen that before. If we zoom out here, where we stuck around within a, uh, a trading range um, prior to March of this year. And I think we're going to see that same sort of pattern develop um, in, uh, in June and July and maybe into August. Um, you know, summer months and everything. So yeah, I, that, that's kind of what I expect. I don't expect us to go as high as everyone um, thinks and I don't expect us to go as low as everyone thinks. Um, so basically trying to profit from this range. Uh, that's, that's my plan. So in any case, uh, it's a shorter. It's going to be a shorter trading week, but it should be a really interesting one because a lot of expectations both ways, I think. And uh, basically, I think you can make money in both directions. Um, just a matter of being patient about it, both with the purchases and with the sales. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys did this past week and what you're thinking for the week ahead. Um, happy July 4th to the Americans and happy Canada Day to my fellow Canadians. Um, hit me up on uh, YouTube with the comments down below or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more info on my portfolio and trades, uh, including charts. Um, subscribe to stay tuned, give us a thumbs up, and I'll check in with you guys on Tuesday when I can trade again. <laughs> Cheers and good luck to all.